Now, the final thing I want to talk about as new and innovative in what we're doing on Xbox and Xbox Live is the Community Games channel. And like Primetime, this is a channel on Xbox Live that is programmed to enable aspiring game developers to create and sell their own games. And we're really trying to empower everyone, the entire breadth of, uh, of our audience, to create their own games. And we will be shipping this year a new product called Kodu. And I wanted to spend one second explaining what Kodu is. It started as a way to help kids learn how to program. In fact, what it's turned into is a way to help them learn how to program, but also now they can create their own games. And on Xbox Live, they can distribute and share those finished games with other people. And what I want to show you today is an example of a game that's been created. We'll do some modifications, and then you'll watch me try to compete, see if I can win at that game, just like I did with one versus 100. Please welcome Sparrow to the stage. She's going to take us through on a tour of this. Hey, Sparrow. Hi. So, so what do you have to show us, Sparrow? This is, uh, this is your game environment. Yeah, this is my world. I, ma made it, I basically took a big green bowl and turned it into this, which is not a big green bowl, obviously. So I think it needs a little more lighting. So let's add a factory, which will make wisps, which are little glowing balls of light that produce l white light really well. And so as you can see, we have a lot of stuff in here, lots of characters, lots of choice, apples. Anyway, so this is the factory. So you're now editing your game? Yes. OK, great. You can change your color, lots of different colors. I'm going to program it so that when the timer goes off for 10 seconds, I will have this guy create a wisp. I'm also going to tell it for just because. I'm glad you're doing this. <laughs> that when the timer goes off for 10 seconds, I want it to open. And that when it, the timer goes off for 11 seconds, I want it to close. So let's test that out. It opened? Yep, and it closed. And it closed. Perfect. And I made that. So, if there's too many... Now, I've also have all... Now, this is called... This is my tree, and it makes music. That, that was the music you were hearing before. And they have lots of different options of sound, like the mystery music. Don't let my kids see this. This could be a problem. <laughs> but mystery C is my favorite. Anyway, I also have a second player that if I do this, oh, watch this. OK, I only need one. Then the game pad for player two, just the last stick, you move. Is this my player? <laughs> yes, it now, is. Now, are you making it easier for this player or harder for this player? It doesn't really matter. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, well, we'll find out. Anyway, I've also got a game set up. This Kodu dude yep. makes rocks. You're supposed to, if, when you bump into the rocks, you pick them up. Okay. Pre you press A to give the rocks to the houses, and they give 10 points. I the got first it. person with 40 points wins the game. Okay. So are Let's we going to play? Yeah. Uh oh, where am I? You're that little blue I'm thing. I'm the other dude. I gotta find a rock. I will beat you to it. Oh, come on. Yay! Oh, wait, hey, wait, wait, wait. You stole that one from me. Yeah, I did. Where is he? Where is it, dude? Uh oh. I got the rock. Th this is not one. looking good. My gaming Two. reputation is going down. Where is he? Rock. Oh, wait. Three. Oh, wait. Can I go? Ah, come back here. Is that rock? Ah. Oh, no! Four? And, oh, come on. Nope, you're not in yet. I gave it to him. You gave it to him. <laughs> There's another one. Uh-oh. No! I win. 
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sparrow. Congratulations, thanks very much. Now, that's a generation-defining experience, let me tell you. But the simple point it makes is that we're about expanding the audience, creating new opportunities for people to do social and interactive gaming.